shouldn't. Put your leg a little bit more so he'll get lighter off of there. Pull back hard. Seesaw kind of quick and hard and kicking forward. Kick harder. Kick, kick, kick. Your legs should overpower your ring. Drop your heels. Now kick him. Keep doing it until I tell you not to. I don't want him bucking He's not going to buck with you at the walk. <laughs> We're not going to canter right now. <laughs> there you go. Hey, drop your heels down now. Push your knees against the saddle. A little lower with your heels. Reach down. There you go. Good job. All right, now when you take a hold of him and squeeze a little, is he any lighter than he was a second ago? Good boy. Good, now ask him to try. Play, play, push. Play, play, push. Faster, 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 faster. Get the power. Double time. That's much better. Good. Now when you play, when you're bumping him, bump through your elbow. Don't pull him down with your, don't pull your hand to your thigh, okay? There you go. Much better. Now keep driving. More forward. Good job. Good job. Let him go. Good, now down to a walk. He's trying to do the same thing at the trot as he does the walk. So you're putting together the same way. Good job. Good job. Just a little. Good 
Did you shorten your range when you went up into two point? Yep. Okay, good. Inside range just a tiny bit more then. Push hard with your leg. Push hard with your leg. That's the key, Kiwi. If you pull in with that right rein, pick up your left one a little bit. Pull harder with the right because he's looking to the left, right? Pull hard enough that he looks to the right. So yes, if you're going along there and I tell you pulling your right rein, his head will flex this. So that tells me that you're pulling on that left rein more than your right. His head needs to go the direction he's going. Don't let your hands go forward. Don't be, don't be adjusting your range by shoving your hands forward and 